We are getting into one of the most exciting times of year in the amusement park industry. It is roller coaster announcement season and we are kicking off at Kings Dominion where they announced their brand new 2025 launched wing coaster, Raptura. Now they're saying that this is going to be the world's tallest and longest launched wing coaster. Thing looks exciting. These are fun rides. The only other one that we've ridden as far as launched wing coasters is Thunderbird at Holiday World and it is a lot of fun. That one goes 0 to 60 in just a few seconds. Very punchy launch. Fun layout. Just just a, a fun ride overall. So I'm not expecting really much less from this one. So let's get into this and look at it and check out anything that they are saying about it. They're saying Raptura simulates the flight of legendary Jungle Hawk with an intense initial launch, plunging dives, twisting maneuvers, and sweeping turns. Raptura's immersive backstory. Centuries ago, ancient leaders built a shrine to honor the mighty Jungle Hawk. People who entered the shrine became spiritually linked to and temporarily possessed the powers and abilities of the bird of prey. Now, this is no different than what Cedar Fair, now Six Flags, obviously, but what a lot of Cedar Fair legacy parks have been doing over the past few years is adding very story themed and and uh, very story driven roller coasters. You have Iron Menace at, at Dorney and all that. So they really got into the theming and stuff like that. And this looks like it will be no different because this is going to be in the brand new, or not brand new, but only a few years old, the Jungle Expedition area of King's Dominion. So scrolling through, let's look and see what this says. The launch, are you ready to take on Raptura's power, speed, and fury? Experience what it's like to be king of the skies. Unlike traditional roller coasters that start with an uphill climb, Raptura uses electromagnetic propulsion to blast you, which are just LSMs, to blast you straight out of the station, accelerating from 0 to 65 miles per hour in 4 seconds. So this is going to be about 5 miles per hour faster than Thunderbird at Holiday World, just like a jungle hawk when it mounts an attack on its prey. So we have some video here, so let's see what we got we got a virtual pov so let's check this out all right already i okay now the i was going to say the quality isn't that good so you go through some arches which looks cool This is a spread out sweeping layout here. I keep comparing it to Thunderbird because that is the only other launch wing coaster that we have ridden. And that is more of a compact layout, quick hitting inversions, uh, quick hitting elements altogether. This looks a little bit more spread out and more time in between the elements. I don't know if that will actually be more fun. It'll probably just be more of a relaxing ride opposed to like a more intense experience. So speaking of experience, so we have a 145 foot wing over. So I guess they're calling that first initial like, I wasn't really sure what they were calling that, but I, I guess it's a wing over drop, apparently. So you launch straight into a wing over drop, which, I mean, I guess if that's what you call it, I didn't really, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really get that out of that because the, um, like gatekeeper at Cedar Point, they have, that has a wing over drop and it comes straight out of the out of the lift hill 
so it just looks a lot different. But then uh, dive loop, go into an S turn, a wing slide. That's new. Um, let's see what this video is. This just the POV, or let's see what this video is showing us. Looks like it's just going to be the. Oh no! So they're going to go over all the elements. So let's let's check this video out. So your launch zero to 65 miles per hour in four seconds. That should be a nice experience. Oh, a wing over turn. So not a wing over drop. So it is different. So you got your dive loop. S turn like now a wing slide. That looks like almost like a wave turn except on a wing coaster. Airtime Hill, which I expect to actually give some airtime, a 360 Raptor roll. Now these companies just kind of make up these names and just figure out like what they would call each thing. But yeah, this layout, like I said, looks very like spread out and shouldn't be an intense ride. It should be a very well, hopefully what we're hoping, smooth. A very smooth, maybe just fun, calming experience. A lot of cool elements to go through. All right, so the ride stats. B&M, launch wing, we know that 145 feet, 65 miles per hour. Three inversions. Just over 3,000 feet of track, 89 seconds long, and that is going to be a full 89 seconds. A lot of roller coasters will say that they're two minutes long, but obviously the lift hill is counted in that. But this has no lift hill, so this would be 89 seconds of actual ride time since you're breaking right into the launch. Now, this is interesting to trains. Personally, I always like to see on something like this, I would want this to be a capacity machine and have three trains, but they're only going to have two trains and at 20 people per train, this should be decent capacity, but not amazing, but it's at King's Dominion, which isn't at an extremely busy park, so it should hopefully be okay, but yeah, they are going with the shorter trains. Uh, uh, like a Thunderbird opposed to something like Gatekeeper, Wild Eagle, some more traditional type of uh, wing coasters. And it says construction updates. So construction updates, this has been the worst kept secret roller coaster so far because pretty much like a lot of it is already built. Uh, like a lot of... Uh, like Facebook pages and that that keep up with King's Dominion news that they've been going to the park a lot and checking checking out the construction they've been keeping everyone updated and like tons of the track is already done uh, updates coming soon so this thing like probably like the track will probably be built and complete before the, the season is completely done before their their haunt and winter fest is even done, assuming that they keep up at this pace of of construction. Uh, let's see. We already went over the ride stats, but they have a video for it, so why not? Let's let's check out their their video for their ride stats. It's just gonna say what I already said, but they went through the work of making these videos, so let's watch it. So this isn't pointing out a lot of the stats. It's just more of like an off-ride animation. Now, one thing I will point out, if I pause this, this is Raptura, 
And this is Reptilian. They're bobsled coasters, so very similar names. And um, I don't know. I, I guess <laughs> I guess it's not that big of a deal. I've never put that much emphasis on names of coasters, but just something uh something interesting that they're so similarly named. Now, one thing that stands out to me on this, opposed to most every other wing uh, wing coaster that B and M makes, there are no near miss elements on this. Wing coasters are kind of known for their near miss elements, where you're going through some sort of tight space and you're doing an inversion or something, usually an inversion. And it just feels like you're about to hit something with your head or your feet or whatever. So those near miss elements are uh, very popular with wing coasters, but this does not have one. Uh, that I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just interesting that they didn't throw in uh, like some sort of themed building to fly through or something like that. I would have thought they would have done something like that. But all in all, can't really complain looks like it should be a very nice addition to the park something they've needed for quite a while I mean they got twisted timbers in 2018 and then they were stuck yeah I say stuck getting Tumbili a 4d free spin it's like the park was being punished so they were given a 4d free spin I think in 21 or 22 or whatever and now a B&M launch wing coaster. So they are getting some investment in that park, which is nice to see. It's a nice park, so it definitely deserves it. And here you see that awful roller coaster tumbili in the background. <laughs> but anyway, that is it for this video. So excited that we have our first official announcement of the year. Can't wait for many more. On August 8th, we have Canada's Wonderlands. That's going to be announced and that's going to be an exciting one to hear about because that thing has been totally secretive. So if you want to stay up to date on all the latest information and all the latest break, breaking news, please subscribe to this channel if you have not already. We do all sorts of roller coaster content just like this. So if that's what you're into, you definitely want to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment. Give your opinion about this ride or just say hi, do whatever, because all that stuff helps against the YouTube algorithm, pushes this video and others and our channel in general out to as many people as possible. So we always appreciate that. And I'd like to take this moment to remind you that we do have a channel membership page. What you see on the screen right here is uh, a list of our channel members. They joined one of two tiers that get some things like exclusive videos, pictures, some videos out a little bit early, stuff like that. And it helps the channel oh so much. So thank you to all our channel members. You guys are highly appreciated. But that is it for this video kicking off roller coaster announcement season 2024. We can't wait for many more rides to be announced for the rest at the rest of this year. So yeah, please join us for all of that and we'll see you guys next time right here on Beach Cliff Studios.